Thanks very much, Jess. Ladies and gentlemen, you're, you're in for a hell of a second half. Thanks very much for coming the first half. The second half, you're in for a treat, ladies and gentlemen. There's so many fantastic people you haven't even seen yet, people I haven't even paid yet, people I don't want to see later. Uh, 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 and if somebody annoys you in town, I found a great way of doing things. If somebody annoys you in town, especially these people you're frightened of, a lot of them are six, seven-year-olds. And uh, No, no, if you're really frightened of them in town, um, or, or somebody that's really obnoxious in the shop, you know, one of these people, a real stuck-up cow, or or or, or, a, or a fella that's who the who do you think he is? One of them. Just go while he's talking. Just go. Oh, okay. There we are then. <laughs> will, 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 you, will you promise to say that? There we are then. Okay. So it doesn't matter how annoyed you are and boiling. Just say there we are then. Okay. Because it's an abbreviation. There we are then of the word twat. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, he's known as Tony the Painter, affectionately as Tony Tidy. He's a fantastic man, ladies and gentlemen. Tony Tidy, give a round of applause. <laughs> I've really come to, to say my poem. Now, this poem was inspired by my mother and father. Um, I'm the youngest of 14 children. And I was born in Mysore in Denby at the top there. Very hard times, just after the war. And uh, my father died when I was two. Don't laugh, that's not funny. <laughs> Don't say that. And, and he never died of that either. He did have a bad heart. But he died when I was two. And my mother was a big influence on my writing poetry and different things. And uh, to be up there with John Betjeman and uh, all these other people is a great honor. You have heard my name. You have seen my name in the book, haven't you? Anyhow, the things my mother taught me. This is in the poem. She taught me to appreciate a job well done. If you're going to kill each other, do it outside. I've just cleaned the house. She taught me time travel. If you don't behave yourself, I'll knock you into next week. She taught me logic. If you fall off that swing and break your neck, you're not coming to the shop with me. She taught me foresight. Make sure you wear clean underpants in case you're in an accident. She taught me irony. Keep crying and I'll give you something to cry about. <laughs> and she taught me the science of osnosis. Shut your mouth and eat your dinner. <laughs> so this is the poem. It's dedicated to my parents. As I stirred in my bed, prepared to meet the day, I heard faint voices in my head from 40 years away. My father in the bathroom, clearing a lusty throat, singing like a tenor, but missing many notes. My mother in the kitchen, her sounds are everywhere. Whistling, cooking breakfast, no smile, just a stare. The shouting of my siblings echoed round the room as I turned to switch on the wireless to dull the aching boom. Then a knock on the door, it's time for me to go. With Dickie, Evie and Brian, I shouted cheerio. We would walk down Park Street having fun like children used to do. All for those days, they always seem so blue. Dad's long gone, ma'am too. Their memories I still keep. And as I waken up, I wish I was still asleep. Thank you very much, and give a big welcome to John Sellers. <laughs>